Hi, um, I'm going to be setting up a still life for you to give you some tips on how to make some, this work in your own drawing still life. Here I have some of my pieces all near a window so that we're getting some nice daylight. Um, I chose to use a box, but I also found this um, piece in order to raise up some of the objects so that there are different levels in your um, picture plane. A nice backdrop could be any kind of fabric. You could use a shirt in your closet as long as um, you set it up in a way where you don't, you can't tell that it's a shirt. But this piece of fabric is actually a scarf of mine and I really think that it works well as a backdrop. It has a nice um, change of color from blue to a brownish color. And you can add a little bit of wrinkle to give some texture in the still life. Next, I'm gonna choose some objects. I want the objects to be simple in form or shape. Um, and if we are doing this still life in color, we wanna to try to make um, colors that are going to look nice together and unify the picture. So I'm gonna start using some objects and trying to place them on the um, picture plane in order to create a nice composition. So I just found this scarf, but you can use anything. You can use a t-shirt or something that you find in your closet. And it's nice to have some curves within the image. So having a wrinkle or two in your fabric is fine. So I want to have a very um, comfortable, cozy feeling still life. And I found objects that are beautiful in form, but also very simple. Um, and I kind of want the still life to make sense together. So the things that I want to put into the still life, um, I'm going to pay attention to um, how they go together as a group. Um, just to kind of create some kind of visual line within the image is really important. So adding little things that have thin lines like this little plant form um, is really nice. And if you notice that right now we have an analogous color scheme going on, but it's really nice to add a bit of color that can really splash in. And adding forms that have beautiful shape um, is is really nice as well. So um, I don't know how I feel about this apple actually and I might put move the cup a little. Now I actually taped the tea bag to the paper cup because I wanted the strings to be a little bit uneven and how that I how high they are in the image and you can fool around with that a little bit. This can, you know, change direction or whatever. And, you know, you can work with it while you're playing with the light. I'm gonna put this candle holder in there as well. Um, and I'm just trying to make the still life have um, a really gentle look to it. And I pulled up that fabric a little bit so that it's e easier to kind of imagine what the background is going to look like. So when you're using your um, composition, you can place things around. Now, putting something in the background could be nice or it might make it too busy. S keeping it simple is really nice and just playing around with how things sort of fit in to the picture plane is really nice. Now this beautiful lighting is wonderful, but if you cannot use that type of lighting and you don't have a window, we can change the lighting. And you can use a desk lamp in order to light your still life. So this is really beautiful. 
um, moving things around and creating height within the the picture plane will allow you to fill your negative and positive space in a really interesting way, trying to create dynamic lines. When you are um, using your viewfinder, you'll be able to tell if something needs to move because there's too much in one place and not enough in another place. It's really nice to keep it simple um, and just Focusing on objects that feel like they go together at least a little bit um, is a really nice way to approach the still life.